Hello and welcome to Landmark Serviced Office Video News. I'm Richard Gill. Today we're going to be looking at the role of brokers and agents in the serviced office sector. Right from the beginnings of the serviced office sector back in the late 80s, early 90s, agents and brokers have been performing a very important role in bringing potential occupiers and operators together. I'm delighted to be joined today by somebody who's experienced life first as a broker, then for an operator, and now as an associate director of one of the world's largest international agencies, Jones Lang LaSalle, here's Dan Brown. Dan, thank you very much for joining me today. Um, is it the case, Dan, that agents are very much underappreciated, and what goes on behind the scenes? I think it's, um, you know, we do a lot of, a lot of background research. Um, the, the key to the serviced office market is speed to market. Um, so we do an awful lot of research behind the scenes, seeing who the new providers are in the market, what new buildings have opened, um, and what, what spaces are available. I think what we do well at JLL is um, we, a lot of the time, will hold the client's hand through the whole process. So we'll not only go meet them for a coffee to understand the brief, we'll obviously look at the options which are relevant to them in terms of cost, location, um, what sort of fit out are they looking for, what sort of business are they, where should they be, um, and then we'll shortlist some options, go and have a look at some, some bits, and then obviously then hold their hand through the whole negotiation process. So Is not only that, what makes you decide whether or not you're going to um, hold their hands uh, when doing the viewings and that sort of thing? I think it's dependent on the actual client. So a lot of clients come to us and they just want the information fast. They're quite happy to go out tomorrow or this afternoon and we'll arrange viewings for them and off they go. But a lot of them are quite happy for us to go and see them. We'd quite like to understand a little bit about the market. So we do, a bit, we do quite a lot of research about um, workstation rates, where what they've done over the last two, three years, what new buildings have come online. Um, the serviced office market against the leasehold market is a question we have a lot. Obviously being JLL we have a lot of leasehold requirements that come in that we try and sort of educate about the market a little bit more. Tell me, um, they, they, the 10% or in some cases 15% mm. um, fee, what, what does that cover exactly Dan? Marketing is a big thing for us. Um, I mean, we're, we're quite a small team, so we put a lot of effort and emphasis on um, SEO campaigns and PPC and, and, and just collateral around our marketing, LinkedIn, Twitter, social media, and it all, it all costs money. Um, but as I said before, it's, 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 it's having to put time into each, in, in each individual client. No client is the same. Um, and with a team of three people, um, we go out, you know, one of us could be out for a whole day looking at office space. Um, for a client and as I said we might get no fee from it so that's probably where we earn our most of our value really um, along with just as I mentioned earlier the speed to market it's um, talking of the market tell me uh, have you um, how, how do you see the market evolving how, how do you think it you've seen it evolve over the last two to three years and where's it going change massively um, over the last five years you, I would say you, you had the the traditional serviced office model which was long corridors, blue carpets, um, you know, the hotel effect really with off offices off with natural light. And you look at now with the growth of companies like WeWork, co-working companies, um, where the emphasis is on collaboration, networking, um, wooden floors, exposed ceilings. Um, there was a real gap between the two, but now I think the two are sort of coming together. Do you think the rapid growth of the sector has actually held workstation rates down a little bit to the detriment of um, a, a little bit, yeah. yeah. I think I don't think the serviced office market has suffered as much as the, well, not suffered, but um, has has escalated as much as the leasehold market with regard to the lack of supply. Because there has been, you know, you only have to look in the square mile around bank. There's, you know, shed loads of serviced office businesses. I'd like to I'd like to ask you a little bit about WeWork actually, because um, there are there any features that they've brought in that have really captured your imagination and caught your attention. The key thing for us is when you're on a viewing, it's coming away from that because you can have a viewing tour of six, seven, eight buildings. It's coming away with a talking point. And I think WeWork have generated that talking point for a lot of clients. You walk in there and it's, you know, whether it be really funky meeting rooms or the fact that it's got a nice cafe or, you know, they might have bumped into somebody in, in the co-working area on the ground floor who recognised him or something like that. It's all the free beer. All the, all the free beer is <laughs> obviously key. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, that's the main thing, I think. Is the collaboration part of it is, is, is great. Um, you can obviously, there's the potential for startups to go in there and build their business internally within the WeWork, within the WeWork network, which is great. Um, That's perceived as being a real advantage for them, isn't it? I think so, yeah. especially within the tech market. Um, it just gives them a real differentiator straight away. Um, but it's not for everybody. You know, we've done 
quite a few viewings with them where people think it's not quite private enough or you know people can look in, look into your office and see exactly what you're doing at all times whereas I think a lot of more corporate sectors will still want a bit more privacy a bit more of a corporate feel a nicer fit out um, it's, it, you know it's horses for courses and I think there's enough room in the market for um, for both Dan thank you very much indeed for joining me today no problem at all. that's all we've got time for on this edition Thank you very much for joining us and do join us again.